Hey, what's up, everybody? Shroomworks here with another episode of Let's Play Solaris with the Mushroom Kingdom. Welcome to episode number 14. Patch 1.2 was released, and it changes a lot. And I mean, really, a lot. Too much to actually list it here, but I will go over the um, most important changes, which were made to the diplomacy and colonization systems. In diplomacy, quite a bit has changed. Embassies are no longer a thing. They have been taken out of the game completely. They have been replaced with trust. Let's pause the game real quick. Let's go to these guys right here. Currently they have a trust level of 55. Unfortunately, one of the mods I'm using does screw up the um, description. Hopefully that will be fixed within the next few days. But yeah, trust is an important thing right now. Because trust um, determines how receptive they are to certain diplomatic actions such as forming an alliance or a defensive pact or non-aggression treaties. The second um, most important change has been made to the borders of the game. Borders are no longer really existent. They are now always open. That means our explorers can go into all the territories right here. Everything we see. And can explore. Unless, let's say, these guys, the um, Antares Sons, decide they don't like us all too much and close the borders on us. That means our ships can no longer go into their territory. Rivals, from what I've seen and understand, um, never have their borders open to each other. Good. Um, next up is the colonization system. As you can see, we have now a system cap and not a planet cap. Um, thanks to the mod screwing everything up, not much can be seen in these tooltips. Anyway, um, you now have a system cap instead of a planet cap, meaning that if there are several colonizable planets in a system, like for example, I think it was here, no, no, this one, yes. So. Two colonizable planets, two continental worlds, okay? In this system. If I colonize one planet in the system, this system goes to the maximum system cap. However, colonizing the second planet in the system does not. That means you can have an basically infinite number of colonies within a single system without them counting towards the system cap. However, there is a limit to colonization now, and that is colonies that are further away from your last colonized planet, from like this one in the Hishma system, and I want, like, say, colonize a planet in the Fijon system, I will have to pay a certain amount of influence in order to colonize the planet. Influence cost rises the farther the distance is from your colonized planet, or rather from your border. Same goes for outposts. Outposts, of course, if you remember, they can be used to increase your sphere of influence. They too have now um, the same value, um, or rather the same increase of cost and influence the further they are away from your territory. Okay, I think this is pretty much it. Oh no, <laughs> not yet. Okay, um, we have new map modes. Of course, the mod screws everything up, so I'm gonna tell you about them as good as I can. Um, we have the normal map mode. Construction Empires are displayed in their empire color. Then we have the Diplomacy map mode. You can see 
Um, instead of going to war with these guys, I decided to go into a mutual defense pact with them. The bright green color means they are friend not just uh, friendly towards me, but they are also in a defense pact with me. The rest of the galaxy, not so much. Except for these guys, I don't know what their deal is. Um, anyway. Next is the uh, relationship mode and it shows you in terms of color how the different empires view you. Blue, that is us. We can click on another empire and it changes the whole map. Okay, <laughs> accidentally clicked on the system there. Um, research, nice. Let's get this one. Um, yeah, so I'm clicking on the Mushroom Kingdom and you can see they don't like us, they don't like us, they don't like us, but those two guys, they really do like us and you can make um, nations or rather empires like you by actively um, trading with them via diplomacy, like making treaties or sending gifts exchanging star charts, and so on and so forth. With most of the empires in the galaxy, I have a... Yeah, it's a good relationship. Not the best, but it's not the worst either. Except for these few red plops. Okay, um... Next. I'm not exactly sure what this is now. Oh yeah, it's, um, I think, that's how they view us, the opinion of us, I think, is that, yeah. Thanks for the non-existent tooltip. Okay, so, anyway, in between episodes, and of course between patches, um, I've started to rebuild the entire fleet from the ground up. I had to, unfortunately. Um, the additional ship classes mod, for example, was taken out and uh, due to it no longer being available on the uh, workshop. So it did uh, screw a little bit with the fleet. And I had to completely eradicate it, or rather, disband it, and start it from the ground up. This took a little bit of time, and I took the um, liberty of making less classes, making it a little bit more um, orderly. Okay, we have the corvettes. Um, in other games that I've played, in other um, campaigns that I've played, I've taken a liking to naming my ship classes after medieval units, um, or rather, medieval classes and weapons such as the squire, the shortbow, the knight and the longbow, templar and crossbow, etc. So this is what I'm going to name everything from now on. Of course, it does fit, I think, since we are a kingdom. Ships are still being produced, but we are in the red. Luckily though, we have upgrades for the power plants. That will help us get back into the green with the energy credits. Oh yeah, um, changes have been made to the um, happiness of people. They have now a base happiness of 50%. And this can be raised by using trades or buildings like the um, Paradise Stone, which gives plus 10% happiness, meaning once that is done and is uh, fully occupied with a grown population, we will have happiness of 60%. So, 
So yeah. Another change was made to the planets. Um planets that have that are two levels away from uh, the home planet quality, in this case being a tropical world, they will have a 20% increase in habitability, meaning that uh, ocean worlds and uh, colon and continental worlds, and I think maybe even desert worlds, um, yeah, will be more habitable. Okay, we were upgrading, right? So let's continue this. We do have some resources to spare. Yeah, right there. Oh, nice. Physics lab. Complete. Bio lab. We can build a... Where is it? Power plant right here. Mm, can't do anything right now. Let's see, we can build a power plant here, of course. So let's do this. Mm, physics lab. And upgrade this as well. Oh, nice. Fire quarries. Always nice to have them around. Anything else? Oh yeah, that is being removed. Okay, that's gonna take a little bit more time. These guys should be ready, so let's send them over. And join them with the main fleet. How long is this going to take? Okay, just one more cruiser and two upgrades. That one is fulfilling a quest and it's almost done. Special project complete. Nice. Oh yes, very nice. Let's continue with the survey. Since he has opened his borders to me, or rather, since his borders are still open to me, I can of course survey in his systems, maybe find an anomaly or two that he hasn't found yet. And let's hence the colonize. Ships upgraded. Okay, two colonization complete. ships. Anything else? No. Good. Two colonization ships, let's see. Oh, research. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. These are new base types that have been added with the extra ship classes and more. What does this do? Large and expensive base made out of asteroids joined together provides large bonuses to mineral production and storage. That sounds very useful. Let's see how long. Oh, 130 months. No, no, no. Let's get the engineering facility first then. We need more engineering points anyway. Oh, yes. Colony ships. Mm, yes. And one here. Gonna take a year. Let's see, can we... No, I already have that one. Yeah. <laughs> In the red. Let's go join the force together right here. There we go. 
A 5k stack. Not too shabby. 30 corvettes, 20 destroyers, 4 cruisers. Should suffice for now. You are not in orbit, why are you not in orbit? Oh yeah! System survey <laughs> complete. That's why. Okay, enter orbit. Research Save money. Complete. This one is finished. Awesome. Let's get the new sensors. And you will survey... Right here. Right here. Come on. There we go. Okay, um, I can send them over. God damn it, camera! Construction <laughs> complete. Jesus. I can send them over here to upgrade. This one is done. Let's have a look. We can build nothing. Food. Food is okay. So let's put them over here. It's gonna take a few more months to grow. And we're back in the green. We have a gain of 0 0.02. Oh no. <laughs> back in the red. Oh Jesus. Okay, what now? Mm. Let's get the tundra. One of the mods that I'm using, or rather, several of the mods that I'm using, um, have not yet been updated. For example, the Robots Plus mod has not yet been updated, which means we are stuck with normal robots. Funnily enough, though, the robot classes um, are still there. Robot Pop Species Mining, Robot Species Admin. So they are still there. Strangely enough, um, but they seem to function like um, normal robots, despite having a different complete. name. And the people on Unix 3 are quite happy. Construction complete. Gardens in the Paradise Dome, but their maximum happiness is, of course, only 50%. Cannot be raised anymore. Research complete. But they are not gonna revolt on me, luckily. Okay, what now? Uh, let's take this one. 50 months. Oh boy. Oh boy! Why am I losing all that money? You are in orbit, right? Yes, they are in orbit. System survey. So why am I losing all of that money? I was in the green earlier. Well, for a few seconds. So I'm not sure why. Are we looking? Okay, let's shift people around so you can... Uh... Okay, this works. System survey complete. Mm, shift you around. Right there. Can I shift someone here? Yes, I can. Mm. Okay, let's take a look here. Construction complete. Those around. And take this one. Put in. And we're in the green. Awesome. Hopefully it stays that way. Oh. 
Okay, you can go into our power plants. Nothing possible here, I'm afraid. Mm, what are we looking here? I think we can let it stay like this. We can finally upgrade this to planetary capital. And this one is... <laughs> Maybe this will work a little bit better. We have enough minerals, so let's wait until this is built. Then we can put in. Construction in. complete. Good. Colony ships are done. Let's send the first one. So this system colonize and you can see it costs 30 influence to colonize it let's put it right here and this is new as well you can now randomize the colony names Second colony ship goes to this world. Where to put it? Hmm. Let's say right here. Yeah, right here. Good. Now let's take a look at the situation. Those guys don't like us. They don't like us at all. So let's declare them rivals. And we can't close the uh, we can't close the borders to them because yeah. System survey complete. Yeah, because rivals. Incoming transmission. Good. We can, of course. Um... Oh, what's this? Who are you? These guys. Oh, they want to have a defensive pact with us. Yeah, agreed. I agreed, my friend. That means I can use those two as a cushion to those guys. Which will be nice. Since they are not in the defensive pact with me, they will only intervene into a war if someone declares a war to me. But if they declare war on any of those, I have to go to war with them. Due to it being a mutual defense pact. Okay, anyway. Um, why can't I see... Oh, right. Maybe... Oh, we can invite them to an alliance. That is nice. Can we do it here? No. But we shall do this here. I love to have a meat shield. And will they respond? Please? Somebody? Incoming transmission. Nice. We are now in an alliance. Construction complete. What is this? Migration treaty? Mm. No, sorry man. Construction complete. Systems no migration for you. Complete. The Shroomia Compact. 
<laughs> that sounds about right. Compact shrooms. Okay, survey here. And you survey this black hole. Okay, you are now my ally. That's good. They are now colored in a blue color, showing that he is my ally. Okay, um, what about you guys now? Still can't invite you to an alliance. Okay, complete. anyway, I have two cushions now, two buffer zones to these guys. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about the system, so maybe we can give them... No, of course not. But maybe those guys will. Uh, trade deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why? Why can't I give star charts? Why? Why can't I look at systems? Ah, whatever. Oh wow, he's really down there. He's really worked hard with those outposts. Mm, colony ship is still underway. This one is colonized. Or rather, it's getting colonized. Good. Technology. It's gonna take a few months. Construction mm. complete. I wish there was a way to know what kind of food he has. System survey complete. There's one is done. Okay. Send you on to this system. I really wish I knew. Anyone else with some resources that would be awesome? Mm. I know nothing about the galaxy, I'm afraid. Terraforming gas, we have four of them, we need terraforming liquids. So, who's got some liquid for me? He's got one liquid, but he's far away. That's no good. Let's see, maybe we can get those guys to tell us. Hmm. Let's buy it then. 600 minerals, Jesus. That's expensive. But at least we have knowledge now about his systems. Yeah, well, the only ones with liquid are they. No, that's a gas. That's a liquid. They have only one liquid. Hmm. He's got a liquid. Oh no. Angus Vapor. Hmm. Oh. I guess we'll have to find out. By conquering this guy. Or vassalizing him. Or something like that. We shall see. Oh, Titanic life story. Mm, let's see. Oh, what are we researching? Complete. Nothing. <laughs> Tundra is done. Um, that's not taking long. So, 
research this. Will take ten months and occupies this guy. Okay. Um. Nothing much to be done in this episode except for more empire management and perhaps. Oh yes, we can do this. Spaceport. Let's build. Ten more. It's gonna cost all of our resources. I want to have at least 50 corvettes in this fleet. And we have plenty of naval capacity as well. Okay, so... Not much to be done here. I do hope you liked this episode. If you did, Please consider leaving a comment and a like, and if you have any questions or suggestions for me, then please consider leaving a comment. And if you want to stay up to date with this Let's Play and my channel in general, then please click the subscribe button. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope I see you again next time. Until then, stay safe.